there's one. Oh my gosh, what do I have? Oh my gosh, I have a giant turtle, I think. No, it's a catfish. Oh my gosh, guys, I have a giant catfish. That is uh, so big. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe I just caught him. How are you gonna get that out? Oh, we're gonna get him. I'm gonna have to walk down to this side of the pond with him or something. This this fish is so big. Wow. Oh my gosh. The pond monster. That's crazy. We don't want him in here eating our eating all of our little fish we just stocked in this pond. We should probably take him to the lake, honey. Lake Gunnersville. I don't know. Wow. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll have to throw him in the boat for a second. Put him in the live well and and drive him over to Lake Gunnersville. It's a catfish. This thing is so big. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is like a 40 pound flathead. This is crazy. This is crazy. Look how big that thing is. Oh my goodness. We got to get that out of our pond. This pond is not big enough for a 40 pound flathead. <laughs> he probably already ate all the bluegill we threw in here, babe. Okay, so I snagged him in the back. How? I'm not really sure, but that's crazy. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? Scout's loving it. Oh my gosh. How are you going to get him out? To our lot. This is nuts. This is so big. This is literally a giant flathead. Oh my gosh, she's so big. I snagged him. I gotta get down there and get him. Oh. He's so big. Don't get off. Don't get off. Don't get off. Oh. Oh, come on. That's nasty. That is so big. Come on, grab him. That's crazy. The pond monster. There it is. That's nuts. I can't believe I just caught the pond monster. Look at that. <laughs> wow. That is crazy, babe. Oh my gosh. Can you believe that? This fish is so big. Yeah, get him out. Oh, wow. All right, guys, just caught the pond monster. Look where I snagged him. That's crazy. So as you guys know, we just put 150 bluegill in this pond and uh, this guy's been eating them all. Look at this mouth. Look at that. Oh, so big. I thought I had a turtle, to be honest. So this guy eats so much. We're actually gonna rescue this guy from our tiny pond and our pond's only four acres. That's not enough to support this guy. We're gonna take this guy to Lake Gunnersville. I'm gonna go stick him in the boat right now, fill the live wells up with some pond water, and we're gonna drive him over to the lake and release him. This is nuts. All right, let's go. Ooh. This is crazy. He's about to move and tip that. Probably used to being in big old catfish holes like that. All right, so he's in water. We're gonna fill up one more bucket and we're gonna take him to my live well, my bass boat, dump the water in there, run over to Gunnersville. Right. There's the 30 pound flathead. That's crazy. I cannot believe this. All right, stuck him in the live well. Getting our water in here. And we're gonna transport this fish to the gutter spill. Let's go. All right, let's get this dude. All right, take him over here to the ramp. Toss him in. Look at that, guys. 
just insane how big this fish is. Crazy. Just caught a giant flathead. That's the biggest flathead I've ever caught with a rod and a reel. I've caught a couple uh, on trot lines, fishing the river and bank poles, but never on rod and reel. That was nuts. Hooked him in the back with the Senko. So, needless to say, took him out of the pond. Uh, we stocked this pond with 150 bluegill, and that fish probably eats five a day. So, got to get him out of there. Get food for those bass so they can grow bigger. Stick with me while we while I make more pond management episodes. It's fun uh, having a pond close by that I can kind of manage and uh, grow the bass in. So I'm also going to be growing big bluegill and crappie in there. So stay tuned for that. And we're going to take the big flatheads like that out of there. I put him in Lake Gunnersville. He swam off. He swam kind of slow just because he's out of the water a little while, but he did live. And uh, yeah, such a giant. Let me know what you thought about this saving the fish from my pond episode and we'll catch you guys next time on Fishing with Norby.